hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Martha and I'm back with another video Today I'm going to be doing a part 2 to the Q&A video that I did on my visa process. I did a part 1 a while ago and people still have questions. I've been getting DMs, comments and stuff like that. So I'm here to answer some questions and elaborate a little bit more. I think this is the last part I'm going to be doing to this video. Before I go into this to the Q&A section, I just want to Put this out there a lot of people are coming to me with the same questions that I've answered before in my videos or in my comments or whatever and I just want to say if you have any questions feel free to go and watch my other videos they pretty much sum up everything because I'm tired of doing these I get questions all the time but these questions are things I've either answered before or you can easily find on their website which I'll have linked below and is linked on all of the all of my other visa processing videos so make sure to go on the um, website and see for yourself and do your own research because that's very important anyways without any further ado let's get into this video did you use NSE and if you did how many months did it take for them to reply this question I've gotten a lot. I did not use the Nigerian Student Express. I just used the normal method. And it took me, I said this before, but it took me only about a month or so to get to get back, to hear back from them. But I did not use the Nigerian Student Express. Have you ever traveled out of Nigeria before? If yes, where can you list the docs provided? Um, like I said, this question I've answered before and I'm gonna put the list of the documents that you need on the screen but I'm also gonna give leave a link up below up above I'm gonna leave a link up above to the video of where I listed out all the documents the process and everything it's all explained it's easy to understand um, yeah What's the first step? Creating an IRCC account or getting admission? The very first step is to get your admission because if you don't have your admission, what are you get creating your IRCC account for? You're going to need your admission to actually start your visa process. So first things first, get an admission. Um, where do you get the police clearance? Um, is it at any police station? No, you don't get clearance at just any police station. I don't know where you live in particular, but you you get it from the headquarters of the police in your state. How much should be in the bank statement? Um, these information is actually on the website that, like I said before, that I will leave in the description, but I'll put the amount in on the screen for you guys so you can see okay i look crazy right now but ignore that i thought i would just elaborate a little bit more um it depends on the number of family members that are traveling if it's one family member you need at least twelve thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars um, if it's two people, about $16,135. If it's three people, $19,836. And if it's four or more people, $24,083 and above. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty expensive in... Naira, you can do your own, you know, calculate it yourself, but this is all in Canadian dollars, so I just thought I would tell you guys that. Yeah, this video is kind of rushed, I'm not gonna lie. 
is the application letter hard copy or soft copy this question is kind of weird because you're applying online i don't think i need to elaborate further online it, it's online so of course it's the soft copy that you're gonna give to them did you why didn't you do the three-day quarantine in designated hotel i did not do that because i think i've said this before but i'm i was i am 17 so um underage children as they call it even though i'm not a child um kids under the age of 18 that are traveling alone don't have to do the designated three days stay in a hotel you can just go right ahead to your 14 days quarantine but yeah i didn't have to do any tests nothing like that and yeah okay so this next one is people the next question i get a lot like this question i get it a lot is asking for school recommendations so i think this is the first time i'm actually coming and talking about this but i don't know when i'm gonna start so i'm not gonna make any like promises but i do intend to start a new series on my channel talking about school recommendations for you guys that are interested in studying here in canada um and i will be doing my research on schools cheap expensive just whatever you're looking for and i'm going to be telling you guys all about it and how to get in admission process how the school really is like so yeah um this is the end of this video um make sure to like and subscribe leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video because i have nothing better to do bye